Hello guys, this is Matrix Ray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p versus native PS2. I will also be doing some frame rate testing and show you guys the best settings for Manhunt 2. We are using large frame buffer, a custom resolution of 2560x1440p, native, 16 times anisotropic filtering, automatic default, full direct 3D recommended, and advanced settings and hacks. Now, uh, we are using nothing here. And also keep in mind that we're not using MSAA. I'll get to that very shortly. Uh, we are using bilinear PS2. Also texture filtering on display and FXAA share to run. We are using, we are using Direct 3D 11 hardware. And yeah, that's everything. Now, I want to quickly just spend 15 seconds talking about this. This game on a GTX 980, which is the card I have, I will be upgrading later down the track. But this game is pretty much impossible to play at at this resolution. I always hit 100% GPU horsepower on this game, which basically once you hit that, the game is clogs up and you know you lose a bunch of FPS. Also, video RAM always hits four gigabytes of video RAM even without this turned on. So this game is extraordinarily hard to run. You need a GTX 1080 Plus to run this game, maybe even a TI. You need a ridiculous graphics card to run this game at full speed. So I uh, will show you guys what it's like on a card that was really good at its time in 2014 do on a PS2 game real quick on the PCSX2 now uh, I do kind of recommend NTVU it's not really a CPU intensive game but I would recommend it just in case if you guys have CPU problems now they want three cores I have six cores if you have more than three cores you should be fine now keep in mind there is a strange blue artifact on the top left corner of the screen there now unfortunately that cannot be fixed this can kind of fix it the frame buffer composition but it also can kind of create another artifact right where it's at so and also drops like 10 15 frames as well which is not even worth it for i mean for what it already is so there's no point even turning that on so we're just gonna have to put up with that i can't find a fix for it so if you find a fix one day that'd be great all right Native PS2 targets at 640 by 446, which I think it means 640 by 448. So, you know, pretty good resolution actually for a game like this, which is, you know, great for its time. Now, at software mode, you can see that the uh, box is gone, but um, it still has some frame rate drops. So as you see, the game does target 30 frames per second. It is very hard to show that, that it targets 30 frames per second only because you know it's a hard game to run now as you see when it says it's 60 it means it's full speed so that's good this is what it looks like at 30 frames per second by looking over here now the game is very very blurry also there's a bunch of aliasing on the ground if you look at this ground and the wall over there it's a lot of shimmering it's very distracting but if you go to native 1440p as you see the lighting is different I don't know which one looks better it's up to you guys what you prefer and there you go there's a box again I had to play through the whole game at a lower resolution and with that box there. It didn't really bother me. It's just a tiny bit of a distraction. But once you play the game, you won't really worry about it. Now, I have 16 times an isotropic filtering. Sometimes turning on allow 8B texture can speed up the game, but unfortunately in this case it doesn't. So I can't really turn that on because it doesn't really work. Now, let's make the game choke real quick. There's the choking right there. Now, if you see my, my game do that, that basically means that I'm bottlenecking my VRAM or my GPU horsepower. It's one of those two, but it's really, really disgusting to see. It's very unplayable. Now, there's a bit of a shadow problem right there as well. Now, uh, you could probably turn on OpenGL to fix it. I think it does fix it, but unfortunately, it makes the game run even slower, depending on GPU, whatever GPU you use. Maybe it might fix up a bit better. Basically, this game is virtually not really ready to play unless if you have a overkill graphics card But let's go to native PS2 now native PS2 the lighting looks different as I mentioned earlier I'm pretty sure and it's easier to run but still drops looks a lot blurrier as I mentioned before If I press the start button, this is what it looks like in the start menu at native PS2 if I go to native 1440p This is what it looks like. It's a lot more darker But as you see the clarity is a bit better like the high it's higher resolution but unfortunately, you can see that tracing on the uh, on the text actually kind of makes it look more blurrier. That's just the uh, the aesthetic of the game, I guess. Now, this game is in 16 by 9 as well. Um, you're probably thinking you could do the 4 by 3 stretched to fix that up, but it doesn't work. I tried it. 
the game's choking again. Um, unfortunately, this is very hard to do some comparisons on because of how bad this is. So the frame rate's basically impossible to play on unless you'd be playing on a lower resolution. I had to do sub 1080p just to play this game from start to finish at a decent resolution, a decent resolution, decent frame rate. And uh, yeah, so if you have a better graphics card than what I have, um, you should be able to try and play this game. It should be wor should be working quite fine, but unfortunately for now, it's just unplayable at this resolution. Uh, not my best comparison, but this is what it looks like at 1440p. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. See you later.